factorial notation and counting techniques. So the first thing we're going to look at is something called factorial notation. And the way it's expressed is with an exclamation mark. So four factorial, it actually just means four times three times two times one. So you're taking that starting number and keep subtracting one every time all the way you get down to one and taking the product of all those numbers. So we can generalize that by just saying that n factorial equals n times n minus one times n minus two times n minus three times dot 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 times three times two times one, depending on what that initial value for n is. We just want to make note that zero factorial actually equals one. Now we're going to look at how we can use some of that factorial knowledge to help us uh, when dealing with working out how many ways things can be arranged. And something that might help us is called the fundamental counting principle, which states that the total number of ways in which something can be arranged actually just equals m times n, where m is the number of ways number of ways the first thing can happen and n is the number of ways the second thing can happen and if you have more than one or two ways you just keep multiplying those things together so let's look at an example let's look at a vehicle's number plate so one example of the number plate might be A, B, C, one, two, three. So it's going to be three numbers followed by three letters. And how many, how many ways can this happen? So all we have to do is it's the number of ways the first thing can happen times the number of ways the second thing can happen times the number of ways the third thing can happen times the fourth, times the fifth, times the sixth. So to get the total number of ways, well, the total number of ways the first thing can happen, well, there's 26 letters in the alphabet, times the second, there's also 26 letters, times the third, which is also 26. Now, with the numbers, uh, assuming zero can be used, there's 10 times 10 times 10, and multiplying that all together is gonna to give us 17,576,000 results for the amount of number plates that can be used. What about the amount of ways that seven people can be seated in a row? A way to think about it is if we're thinking about seven people seated, we can draw up seven boxes. And you can think about how many people you can put in that first seat. Well, if we have seven people to choose from, well, there's seven choices for that first one. But now for the second seat, we've only got six options left. And keep doing this, we get five, four, three, two, and one. And with the fundamental counting principle, the total ways is just gonna be all of these things multiplied together. And seven times six times five times four times three times two times one is just the same thing as seven factorial. And seven factorial is 5,040. Let's look at another example. So we're gonna look at how many 10 digit numbers there are. So we're looking at how many 10 digit numbers Um, assuming the first digit cannot be zero. So again, we could use this 
box theory to help us out. So because we're talking about 10 digits, we need to draw 10 boxes. We can think about how many choices we have for that first digit. So if we can't have zero in that first digit, that leaves us with nine choices. Then for our next one, we've there's no limit, so we can pick 10. And again, no limit for any of the rest of the digits. So we can have 10, we have 10 choices for all those remaining digits. And all we have to do is multiply all of those together to get the number of ways in which we can have 10 digits where the first one is not zero. And all that is going to be nine billion. But what if we just restricted our choices? So again, we're still going 10 digit numbers. Uh, the first digit can't be zero. But this time we don't want to repeat any numbers. So again, let's draw out our 10 boxes to represent our 10 digits. So we can't begin with zero, so we still have our nine choices. Now, no matter what, we've selected a number there, which means we only have nine choices for our next one, because we don't want to repeat, because we've automatically chosen one. Now we've chosen two numbers, so that means we've only got eight to choose from. And then now we've chosen three, so we've only got seven to choose from. And then six, five, four, three, two, and one, timesing all these together will give us the arrangements of how many 10 digit numbers we can have where zero is not the first digit and there's no repetition of digits. And all of that's just gonna simple, simplify to nine times nine factorial. And that's gonna give us 3,265,000 Thank you.